Hi there, I'm Don McStraw, and I'm a conditioning performance coach here at the McStraw Method, where we run a program, and this is Maya, if you can see her in the screen. So she's gonna jump in this video today. So one of our pillars that we've already talked about in our program is what we call the Mentalized Program. In this video, we're just gonna talk a bit about what we call Metabolize. So I'm not gonna call it nutrition, because nutrition tends to come across a bit all wanky. There are that many self-diagnosed, self-qualified dietitians and nutritionists out there in the form of personal trainers who think that they know it all. And quite frankly, I think the majority of them are the people who have never experienced some other stage of life, some other way. They've potentially never been overweight. They've never dealt with Crohn's disease. They've never had uh, endometriosis. They've never suffered a stroke. So I'll keep it simple and we're just going to talk about your metabolism, what your body does how you metabolize food, and therefore I'm going to call it food. So in the program, yes, primarily we talk about exercise and movement because at the end of the day, that's how we get ourselves a little bit fitter, looking a little bit better, skin's clearer, that type of stuff. And yeah, yeah, along the lines, we lose some weight, we lose some body fat, we get toned, and we get a little bit stronger. But metabolize is an underpinning theme in everything that we do with all of our clients. We don't come across hard-ass dietitian, strip everything away, blah, 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 blah. That's what the dietitians are for. In our metabolize program, we simply talk about one primary thing. Food is fuel. What goes in? gets burned, that creates energy, the energy causes your body to fuel itself. So, to use the analogy, if you're like an old coal-fired steam locomotive, and that's what you're fueling yourself body with, and you're puffing black smoke, then that's how you're going to perform. But if you start to see yourself as that high performance, you might say, for lack of better words, you're the Ferrari, you're the Lamborghini, the Porsche, whatever it is, but you're that high performance vehicle. When you start to think like that and realize that everything you goes into gets consumed, gets combusted to produce energy for you to perform something, that's where you need to be. So I've got a couple of things just listed on the whiteboard over here and let's just go through each one. So in the program, it's not exhaustive, but it breaks it down to basics. So what we simply want to do is we want to start off the program by understanding you. Where are you today? What are you doing? What are you eating? And what are you not eating? Do you have some food allergies? Are you the paleo, the keto, are you gluten free? Are you down the path based upon someone else's experience telling you that you're going to count your macros? Then what we want to do is we want to basically not undo all that, but we want to break it down so that at the end of the day, you understand that it can be quite simple as long as you are consistent. So I want to understand where you are today, and in the first phase of our program, we'll actually get you to start saying, so what I've eaten every day, so we can see where you are, what's going on, not tell you off, not tell you what you're doing wrong, but where you are. Like, are you eating enough calories? Are you this person who wants to get a little bit fitter, wants to drop a little bit of body fat, drop a bit of weight, which in turn you're gonna put on some lean muscle mass and you're eating 900 calories a day? Then I ain't gonna cut it. That's why you are so lethargic. That's why you have no energy. There are girls out there, busy career women like you, busy homemakers, that are consuming two and a half to 3,000 calories a day and they're still dropping weight talk to you about how that happens. The value of food. Every little piece of food can be broken down into things like macros, your proteins, your fats, your carbs, and calories. So which is right? Are you a macro person or are you a calorie person? For me, I want to keep it simple. With all the clients that we coach in our program, we talk about calories. We talk about energy. Energy going in, energy going out in terms of how I'm using my body. So, if you ever have a question, you ask the question. So it's a bit like 
I had a situation with a client once before who was constantly, constantly getting bad reflux, getting an upset stomach, and they were bloating, but they were eating a crap ton of veggies. And it wasn't until something dawned on me that we started seeing one thing stand out. They were eating so much broccoli. Because they, again, they were told by an unqualified person that they needed to have their carrots, their capsicum, their cucumber, and their broccoli. And this person was telling them it's broccoli, 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 broccoli. They were overeating too much broccoli. Their enzymes, when the broccoli was breaking down, was causing them to bloat. It was causing them pain and anguish. Again, within their metabolism, that person went on to simply cut out the broccoli, get a simple plain donut, cut it into quarters, and have that throughout the day to get them through. <laughs> Go figure, donuts, hey? TDEE. Total daily energy expenditure. That's what we're going to do. We're going to talk to you about what that is. Based upon you, your age, your sex, your height, your weight, what is the rudimentary number of calories that your body needs to keep you alive? And then where are you with that? And why is that important in the program? Sleep. How much sleep do you get? Everyone says you need to get eight hours of sleep. Some people perform well, extremely well, on five and six. That one's my aunt, the one barking is Kira. So, but sleep is important. Sleep is the time when your body recovers. And if you're wearing things like Fitbits and other stuff, there are some great tools that we can show you that'll help you understand the quality of your sleep and therefore why that is important. It's important for recovery. We're gonna to talk to you about water. I drink four liters of water a day, and yep, initially you're up, you're peeing every 10 minutes. But I also drink three liters of that water as hot water, because I've found that the hot water and me drinking it at a thermos throughout the day does several other things. It stops me from going and having multiple cups of coffee which dehydrate me, and I love my coffee. But it gets the same result, and I'm just not drinking it. And as a result of that, my skin is clearer. The four days of water that I'm drinking every day, my skin is clearer. I don't have to moisturize. It's not greasy, and at 50, it's not tight, it's not wrinkly. That'll come. But we're gonna to talk to you about water and why water is important. And whether or not, if you're going down the path and you wanna follow an endurance program, why that age old thing of you know, drink before you feel like you need to drink and where that can be a myth. I'm part of an ultra running community and we drink when we need to drink. We don't drink beforehand because what we end up doing, we see a lot of people actually overhydrate and get themselves into situations. So we're gonna take from that side of the business and that side of our experiences into our program. We talked about macros, we talked about calories, basically energy in, energy out, we're gonna keep it simple for you. Uh, we're gonna talk a bit about sugar. Um, not all sugar is bad for you. There are some natural sugars, but particularly if you're a female, there's some natural sugars that if you have the right balance within your metabolism at that time of the month, you will find that you may end up not experiencing the pain that you may have had in your periods beforehand. And that's some of the stuff that we'll do. And for guys also too, we do have a couple of guys, but we're primarily focused on busy women. We talk about why there is value in sugar and what it can do to your system. We don't prescribe meal plans. We don't give you meal plans. We will give you some examples so you can see what is an 1800 calorie day, a 2200 calorie day, a 3000 calorie day meal and what it looks like. But this hand, not my hand, but your hand, and what this represents, what this represents, what that represents, it's a good little guideline for you and how you're food, and we'll talk to you about that in our program. We'll give you meal ideas. You don't have to eat chicken, broccoli, and rice every day of the week to look ripped and shredded. It doesn't work that way. We're gonna tell you how you can go about doing that. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I wanna show you what we do, 
what our clients do so that you can learn to do it for yourself. And yes, if you want to eat pizza, um, we don't advocate cheat days. To us, that's another excuse. That's another excuse to finding a way out. So every day is a day. What you do today, what you do tomorrow, the next day, did you have a binge in the weekend? What the hell did that do to all the good stuff you did during the week? We simply want you to be a human being and understand that we all have flaws. And part of those flaws is what we put in and out of our mouth as far as our food to nourish our body. In a fundamental, it's a bit of a long-winded thing, but that is what we do in the metabolize portion of our programming. Again, my name is Don McStraw. I am a conditioning performance coach here at the McStraw Method, and that is pillar number two, that is metabolize, and we'll be back shortly to talk about pillar number three, being the mobilize.